Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Learn with Saad. This is our 19th XHT Malavichi tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about text area. So first of all, let's have a look at our web page, how it looks like. And here you can see it has two text fields, two labels, actually three months. And uh, here is a submit button. So I created this label for, you know, for text area. So let's go with it. Let's, let me tell you one thing before we're going to the code. So here you can see there are two text fields on our web page. By these text fields you can get the input from user. But there is one problem that they are only single line, you know, single line input taker. So to use to take the input from user in multiple lines, we use the text area. You may have seen the text area on plenty of you know social sites or where you can fill prof your profile, tell them about your instruction things, interesting books, interesting sports, whatever guys you want, movies, whatever. So let's create it. It's really a cool thing in the web forms. Create a text area. We simply use the text area tag. Open it and then close it. And it's almost done. So give it a name. You know giving name to the elements is really a good practice. It will let help us in let our later PHP and JavaScript tutorials. So give it a name. For example, I'm going here, you know, intro. Okay, let's save it. And let's see how it will look like. Refresh the page. Here you can see text area has been appear on our screen. But by default the text area, you know, is too much small. It's just not, you know, fit enough in our web form. But from this corner you can, you know, increase the width and the height and the user will you know really enjoy this thing but by default the size is just not enough you know you can always user can always you know increase the width and the height by from this corner clicking and dragging but it's really not you know just look cool by default you know user are not not always going to you know do this some might not experience this so Let's give it a by default bigger size. So in this case, we are not going to use width and height as we usually do. In this case, the to increase the width and height, we will use the uh, rows and calls attributes, just like that we use in tables. So let's go with the rows. I think so. Seven will be enough for rows value. And let's go with the columns and here we go out 40, 45. Let's go with 45. Let's see how it will look like. Refresh the page here. You can see a good looking text area, bigger one. Uh, text area appeared on site here. You know, type whatever you guys want by default. The, the size is, you know, efficiently enough. I think it's efficiently enough, but you know, it looks almost big as the text field are. So that's really a great thing in our. Uh, you know HTML forms we will design it later with our CSS so it will really looks very cool amazing you, to, you can say attractive yeah there are very lovely text area when we you know design it in our later CSS tutorial so that's it for this tutorial keep subscribe to learn more and to be updated you can follow us on plenty of your social website the links are in the description check them now and make sure that you follow us to keep updated uh, okay at last I will tell, tell you guys only one thing that to learn and you know to learn and to learn more the only thing that you guys do in programming is practicing so try this text area if you have any problem you can leave a comment below and I will definitely reach up to you you can always always welcome to you know get help you can take advice whatever you guys want from our website as well as on social pages that we have you know on the page result you know so take care be healthy and goodbye